Spontaneous trips hold a certain magic. Friends randomly come together, grab a car and hit the road. The trip officially starts with a lavish food table in the first tavern. No rush allowed, so rolling in at midnight is totally cool. We're out exploring. Nobody's around, everything's peaceful and no weather is a problem. Wandering around for a few hours and picking up random things becomes a must. The next day we find random attractions on Google Maps. Just immersing ourselves in whatever crosses our path. Slowing down, chilling out, reflecting. Feels like a scene from those American teen rom-coms. Who would have thought we would stumble upon it? Yet here we are. In our temporal odyssey we traverse the dimensions with the ease of quantum blades slicing through the battery fabric of space-time. We're not on a mission to check off a million places. No must-watch lists in our notes. This trip is a rebellion against the anxiogenic rush. This approach still opens up new explorations and brings impressions without compromising our sense of freedom. Indulging in famous eats, wandering in a new city at night, stumbling upon cinematic spots and finding Kirky artifacts becomes a highlight. For most people nowadays, traveling is a racetrack with checkpoints, but this time we're just spectators passing by the track. It's not being slow and boring, it's being mindful and present. It's not about chasing novelty, it's about getting around it. There's no perfect time to travel, just like there is no perfect time to educate yourself or socialize. No need to turn it into a competition or brag on social media. <laughs> 